Hello students, this video consists about the MCQs and filling the blanks which is related to your first lesson for standard 12th IT subject that is advanced web designing. So the first question is filling the blanks. Dash attribute is used to apply CSS style to the individual input element. So the right answer here will be ID. So we use ID attribute to apply the CSS style to an individual input element. So the next question is dash uses the style as attribute in HTML start tags. So uh, the right answer here is inline style sheet. So you will be writing the answer as inline style sheet. Okay, so the next question is there are dash types of pos positioning in CSS. So, which are the different different positioning in CSS? So, in total we have four positioning. Okay, next dash is a default for float property value so in css we have a float property so the default float property is none next list within another list either order list or unordered list is called as dash list so whenever we insert one list into another list then definitely it is called as nested list so whether it is ordered or it is unordered so that is called as nested list next question to define a definition list dash tag is used so whenever if you want to define any type of definition list then you are going to use dl tag so the tag should be always uh, it should be written in the angular brackets so let us give an angular bracket first so it is d l tag with a closing angular bracket okay so this is the answer next question dash attribute specifies the starting number of the first item in an order list so whenever you want to uh, specify the first number so whether you want to start your order list with 1 or you want to start with your or your order list with 30 so if you want to uh, give a specific starting number then you are going to use which type of attribute that is your start attribute okay so start is the answer next dash css property is used to control the fonts so whenever you want to give different different fonts like comic sans arial cursive so these are fonts you give uh, by using font family okay so you use a font family property for this next question is dash is by default position for html element so whenever you want to give any position you have four positions out of that the default position will be static so static is the answer okay next question an ordered list created using the dash tag so whenever we start an unordered list then we are going to use a ul tag that is u represents unordered and l represents list so it's u l tag so the tags should always be written in an angular bracket. So this is about the first uh, section that is your filling the blanks. 
now the next is the mcqs with correct option so dash indicates the html element you want to style so the options are declaration property selector and value so the right answer is option c okay so the selector is always specifying which element you want to style so whether it is your any tag in the selector you always specify the tags next question dash defines an image as a submit button so you have input type is equals to tell input type search input type image and you input type is url so whenever you want to give input type for your submit button as an image then you'll uh, you'll write input type is equals to double inverted comma image next question dash is used to apply css as a single document or page so the options are embedded style sheet external style sheet inline style sheet and all the above so here your right option is option a that is the embedded style sheet it is always used to apply the css on a single document or in or page an embedded style sheet is also called as internal style sheet okay next question is there are dash methods of implementing styling format to an html document so the options are 2 3 4 5 so you have three type of styling uh, information to your uh, html document next is dash is used with a period character so you have options like universal selector class selector id selector and grouping selector so out of all this selector only id selector is used with a period character next question dash selects all the elements on the web pages so the options are universal selector class selector id selector and grouping selector so here the answer is universal selector it selects all the tags or all the elements on your web pages and we use it with the help of indicating it with a star next question dash defines a range control so options are input type is equals to range input type is equals to data input type is equals to tell and input type is equals to url so here the answer is input type is equals to range next question dash is used to display an element as an inline element so options are display colon block display colon block line display colon in line and display colon none so if we want to display an element in an in line format then definitely we'll use display colon in line next question the list in turn items in order unordered list are marked with the list items in unordered list are marked with dash so the options are number bullets characters and roman numbers so basically in ordered list we use numbers and alphabets but in unordered list we use bullets so bullets is the right answer next question dash default value of type attribute for ordered list is so basically the default value for uh, type attribute in ordered list is 1 next question dash input type defines an appropriate field for an email address so options are input type is equals to range input type email input type text and input type url so the right answer is input type email which we always use to identify whether it is an correct email id or not next question the default value of style property list style type for unordered list is what so basically in an ordered list you have different different types of bullets which we use but if we don't give or if we don't give any property then by default you get the list with a disk type of bullet next question dash attribute of input specifies that input field should be disabled so disabled is only the property which is going to tell you that uh, attribute which is going to display your specific input field suppose if you have a form and you have so many inputs in it and now you want to disable some of the input that is now you want to disable email id you don't want that user should enter the email id then you will uh, just write dis uh, disabled in front of it so disabled is the right answer next question 
dash specifies that the input field should automatically get focus when the page loads so it is auto focus next is meta http equi equals to refresh content 4 what will be the above line of code do so definitely this is going to tell your web page that it should be refreshed after each and every four seconds so this is the right option that refresh the page for every four seconds it will automatically refresh it next question dash property positions the element at the specified coordinates relative to your screen top to left corner so you have relative absolute fixed and static so the right answer is absolute next question dash input type defines a date picker with year month and day so basically you have option input type range input type date time local input type time and input type date so in the date you need you require year month and day so it is input type date so in the time you have hours minutes and seconds Whereas in the date time local you have both you have date as well as time. So the right answer is input type date. Next question dash specifies that the user is allowed to enter more than one value in the input element. So options are required type placeholder and multiple. So if you want to add more than one value then we use the multiple selection. Next question dash defines a file select field and a browser button to upload to for file upload so the options are input type tell input type search input type text and input type file so whenever uh, the right answer is input type file so whenever you select input type file then a browser opens a file block and then you can select a file out of it and then you can upload that file Next is dash input type defines an appropriate field for entering a URL. So the options are input type range, input type date, input type text, input type URL. So input type URL is the right answer. Next question dash acts as a temporary label showing the purpose of text field without requiring a label tag. So here you have options like placeholder, max, mean, and required so basically if uh, if it acts as a temporary label showing that the purpose of text field without requiring a label tag will be your so it will be a placeholder next question the dash is a tag in HTML that describes some aspects of contents on the web page. So the options are title, DL, OL, style and meta. So the right answer is meta tag which describes the content on the web page which helps the search engine to find the appropriate web page with the help of keywords which we use in meta tag. Next is dash input type defines a field for entering a URL. So the options are input type range, input type date, input type tell and input type URL. So the right answer is URL. Next question dash specifies regular expressions to check the input values. So here we have options like pattern, placeholder, required and read only. So right answer is pattern. Next is UTF-8 is. So what is UTF-8? It is basically used for encoding. Uh, so let us see the uh, at, uh, options attribute of meta, CSS style property, value of char set attribute of style and value of char set attribute of meta. So right answer is it is a value of char set attribute of meta. Now we'll start with true or false section. So the first is name attribute of meta tag that specifies the character encoding used by the document. So this answer is true or false because... Uh, name attribute of meta tag is not used for character encoding next is required attribute specifies that input field must be filled out so this is true so it is compulsory that you have to fill some value in your required attribute next is required attribute specifies that input field is uh, is cannot be changed no 
you can change the value only the condition is what that you have to fill something in it so it is false next universal selector is not used as a wildcard character so this is false it is used as a wildcard character so let us go in the next section is match the pairs so let us uh, see so here the first is list style type square so the right answer for it is ul style then the second is slash matches to so here the right answer is css next http equi matches to so here again the right answer is attribute and next css matches to so here the right answer is period slash dot so this was about mcqs now the next is mcqs with three options correct following are the input restrictions attribute so out of all these many attributes placeholder disabled and autofocus are your restriction attributes next is valid css property and its values are so here out of all these the values are text decoration colon none float uh, float colon none and list style type that is circle so these are the properties so next is mcq with one correct that is internal css is also called as so the right answer is embedded style sheet so this is all about the uh, practice test thank you for watching